Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge liberal Hollywood actor just listed as a terrorist after being caught. In a tweet sent out last month, the extreme far-left liberal actor Peter Fonda, otherwise known as Hanoi Jane's brother, actually called for 12-year-old first son Baron Trump to be ripped from his mother First Lady Melania's arms and put in a cage with pedophiles. But the actor didn't stop his sick fantasies there, he also called for the public caging at RE of Department of Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nielsen in a tweet Tuesday. In the vulgar tweet Fonda said, Christian Nielsen is a lying gash that should be put in a cage and poked at by passers-by. He continued, the gash should be pilloried in Lafayette Square naked and whipped by passers-by while being filmed for posterity. But now it's starting to look like Border Patrol didn't take too kindly to Fonda's lunatic rant even though the out-of-his-mind actor apologized. In a statement, National Border Patrol Council NBPC, said actor Peter Fonda is a domestic terrorist. After he sent out another tweet calling for people to dig up and release information about where ICE and CBP agents live and where their children go to school. Here is more via Breitbart. Leaders of the National Border Patrol Council NBPC, said actor Peter Fonda is a domestic terrorist. The statement follows a series of tweets from the actor where he called for people to dig up and release information about where ICE and CBP agents live and where their children go to school. Fonda sent out a tweet that reads, We should hack this system. Get the addresses of the ICE agents CBP agents and surround their homes in protest. We should find out what schools their children go to and surround the schools in protest. These agents are doing this cause they want to do it. They like doing this. Fuck. It appears the tweet has been taken down but the Daily Mail and others posted this image of the tweet. NBPC officials rightfully took exception to the alleged threat against them, fellow law enforcement agents and officers, and their families. Law enforcement isn't pleasant Peter. It isn't a movie where you are constantly being catered to by sycophants and you're pampered, protected and made to think you're really someone better than the rest of us. You aren't. NBPC officials wrote, For us, the bad guys and the constant danger are real. Ask the Tucson agent who was shot last week by illegal aliens, Peter. Yes Peter, the bullets were actually real. Do his traumatized children deserve to be terrorized at their schools because he's a border patrol agent? What about his wife? Should she be hunted down and terrorized too? What about the children of agents who have been KD in the line of duty Peter? Should they be terrorized at school as well? NBPC officials said Fonda went on to tweet. Sounds great. We don't have to take the agents kids, we only need to surround their schools and scare the shit out of them and worry the FCK out of the agents from CBE ICE and regular border patrol agents. We need to scare the FCK out of them. Need to make their children worry now. The article published on the NBPC website lists other tweets from Fonda's latest rampage. Those include. Yes, this is what passes for inclusion, acceptance, kindness, feminism, gender equality, love and peace in the world of so many liberals, Border Patrol Union leaders said. Their hypocrisy knows no bounds. How about the be kind stickers on cars and love Trump's hate motto that are so popular in liberal circles? Do those apply here? And the really hilarious part about Fonda's tweets encouraging domestic terrorism is his avatar on Twitter flashing a peace sign. The article continues. Peter Fonda and his sibling Hanoi Jane Fonda have been extremely wealthy since birth. They can afford armed guards, luxury, private schools and massive home security measures. Border Patrol agents cannot afford these things. We actually work for a living. This is the same Peter Fonda who advocates taking guns away from average Americans on one hand and then encourages domestic terrorism against average Americans on the other hand. Think about that for a minute. How wise were our founding fathers to include the Second Amendment in our founding documents? Peter, you are a despicable, hateful, spoiled, and entitled punk. Your life of privilege since birth is not what most of us deal with. We have to work hard every day to make a living for our families. Some of us do dangerous jobs that most Americans wouldn't touch. Our children have to put up with enough as it is. Demonizing us is low. But encouraging domestic terrorism against our children is unforgivable. Encouraging violence against the president's son is unforgivable. Asking people to kidnap the DHS secretary, strip her naked, put her in a cage and letting people poke her with sticks demonstrates just how unhinged you really are. Peter, seek some mental health treatment. You need it. Whatever ends up happening here let's hope Peter Fonda never gets work again. Due to his antics of trashing a child and instigating violence against our Border Patrol officers and their families he's likely headed to being an unemployable actor.
his big mouth and abusive remarks that were so bad that the First Lady had to contact Secret Service for extra protection of Barron, is a risk to any business. Corporations aren't probably wanting to take with ratings already struggling across the board for cinema and liberal sitcoms. Fonda, by not respecting the president, a child, or his career, doesn't deserve respect in return. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.